All right, so I'm Nina, and I'm going to share with you how I won $80,000 from a body transformation contest and then what I learned from that. Several years ago in 2015, that's what I looked like. And then 12 weeks later, that's what I look like. So I'm going to tell you how I did that. But before I tell you, I think it's important for me to tell you like what my life was like before and what my family is like. So my parents like me chubby. And a few weeks into this transformation contest, I remember my dad was trying so hard to make me have cream barbecue with him. And I was like, normally I'd pig out with him, but I was like, no, Appa, remember I'm trying to do this transformation contest. And he's like, hey, one time is okay. And I was like, no, I have to follow the diet. And he's like, diet? Eh, diet is, you know, not good. And I was like, oh my God, Appa, I'm gonna lose if I do this. Let's fast forward halfway in the contest, like six weeks in, I lost just 13 pounds. Not, that's me halfway, not, not terribly skinny, right? But my mom didn't think so. She visited me and she was like literally tearing up in her eyes. Oh my God, you lost so much weight, I can't even look at you. My parents like me chubby, but when I grew up, I didn't want to be chubby, I wanted to be skinny. So I always struggled with trying to lose like 20 or 30 pounds. Um, dieting really hard, binging really hard, over and over, you know. And come on, it is so hard to be skinny when you love food, right? Any foodies in the house? Everybody should be like, woo! We're Asian people, we know how to eat. But, you know, over the years, I tried so hard to stop this craziness with like dieting hard and binging hard. So I saw a lot of therapists, hypnotherapists, uh, a church counselor, Overeaters Anonymous. I even paid this famous psychic 700 bucks to basically say, everything's gonna work out. I, I was so desperate. I even went on these spiritual journeys. Um, in Arizona, I went on this like, went through this really beautiful meditation garden, but it was actually created to become a landing area for aliens. And that didn't help me. I went to Michigan uh, and I prayed on this deserted mountain and I was driving down the mountain and I literally saw a ghost cross the road in daylight and I know you guys think I'm weird, but I'm not as weird as Will talking about porn. I just wanted to prove to you guys that this is how far I went to stop this craziness, you know, I was this, to just stop this depression and feeling out of control. I knew a lot of my emotional triggers, like one of the biggest ones was like, if I saw a skinny woman, I would wanna go stuff myself with food. And I did, a lot. I knew that me getting bullied in school and having my parents go through a divorce had something to do with my problems, but um, I still couldn't figure out how to stop overeating. One night, I went to my favorite uh, drive through spot. Hi, welcome to McDonald's, how can I help you? Yeah, could I get a 10, uh, actually, let me get a Big Mac meal, 10 chicken nuggets, three chocolate chip cookies, and an ice cream cone. You know, that's not even that big. That's not even a big, yeah. And I ate it all in my car, probably less than 10 minutes, drove back home, feeling ashamed as usual, just kind of depressed. I remember I plopped on the floor and I just like started scrolling through YouTube on how to get skinny. But that night, what I found instead was a girl that won a 12-week body transformation contest. And her before pic looked just like me, like a chubby little librarian. And then her after pic, she turned into this hot, like, FBI badass. And that's when I had my first epiphany. I was like, fuck being skinny. I wanna know what it feels like to be a badass. I wanna know what it's like to like lift weights in all parts of my body. I've never done that. I've done Taekwondo, I've done Korean trad traditional dancing, I've done golf, I've done violin, I've done extra homework from a Korean academic company that rips off Korean parents, but never bodybuilding. So I ran to my little sister sister's apartment and I was like, I'm gonna do this transformation contest. And then she's like, you know you're not gonna win. And I was like, why would you even say it like that? She said, because only black people or white people win stuff like that. They're the, they can build muscle better than Asians. I never thought of that. Like, is that right? I, 
Is that why I don't see a lot of Asians doing these transformation contests or bodybuilding contests? I had to look up all the previous winners. She was right, like almost everybody was black or white. A few Latinos, but no Asians. But I entered that contest anyway, because I just wanted to do it. I wanted to prove it to myself that I had what it took, you know? And I prayed the hardest I ever prayed. I didn't hang out with anybody. And I just obsessively watched workout videos and read fitness articles. And I share everything that helped me win in my book. It's my memoir, Transformation Champ, the story of my $80,000 six pack. Someone thought I paid $80,000 to get a six pack. You, you guys know. <laughs> um, in that book, um, I talk about like all the vegan foods that I ate and you know how I worked out for two to four hours a day, weight lifting weights and doing treadmill and stairs and bike. But I really wrote that book to show that anyone can transform. You know, I'm not I'm not anyone super genetically gifted, maybe a little bit, but really I'm not that strong. I didn't think I was that strong mentally or physically. So during the last six weeks of that contest, I had to create my own ab workout because I wanted to get that six pack popping. And uh, that's actually my most recent book. Psycho six week six pack. I know I gotta, I gotta be more creative with my covers. Like it's always the same pictures, but <laughs> this book is psycho. Um, it's a lot of hard work and I, di I didn't think anyone was actually gonna do it. It's just my ab workout that I used and the tricks that I used to win. So I was, the first Asian that won from bodybuilding.com. And it was out of more than 57,000 people worldwide. And um, you guys want to see a clip of when, uh, you don't even know what it is. <laughs> um, it's, it's, um, it's when bodybuilding.com actually surprised me with the prize money. So this was an online contest. I just showed, I just, I just you know, gave them my before and after picture online. Come on in. Oh, hello. Hi. Come on in. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> they use that for all their ads because I have the craziest reaction. <laughs> so let's wrap this up. You know, that night when I was scrolling through YouTube videos, just feeling depressed and full of McDonald's, I was, I was hoping to learn how to get skinny, but I'm so glad I didn't because I'm happier. I'm happier now that I feel stronger, and I'm happier now because I can eat more. That's it.